welcome to part two of the Kazon Torpedo build-up. Uh, made a little bit of progress on the model, I thought I'd share with you. I've also been doing a lot of studying of the episode entitled Maneuvers, uh, season two, episode 11, just in case you're interested. Um, again, you know, as, as previously said, this ship isn't online, or sorry, this ship isn't in the episode for that long. So there's not really that many screenshots that you can grab of this particular ship. However, the ones I did manage to grab uh, did give me a good idea of how the ship is painted. And it also did give me a good idea of the lighting on this kit as well. Now, the good thing is it's definitely confirmed that there's no windows on this. So I don't need to start hogging out the plastic for windows. The other good thing is um, that um, before I made the mistake, I was able to rectify that because I thought that the impulse engines were uh, purple, but they're not. They're actually orange. One of the other things I found as well was on uh, the side sections of the ship, either on this part here or on this part here, we've also got some orange uh, lights coming through as well. I just need to study the screen grabs of that a little bit more. Uh, just to see exactly where they're coming from so we can try and replicate those bits. So that's good. One of the things I've been working on for this kit really is um, the thrusters. Now what I have done so far is basically these parts were just com uh, completely opaque plastic. So I've basically drilled those out uh, and then filled them up with nail acrylic and then poured in the um, uh, liquid monomer uh, on the back side. So that's kind of like how that looks on that side. Obviously, we've got some clear tape on that side to hold everything in. Uh, but yeah, so that's how that looks. And that's actually set quite nicely now, that one. So I've done that for all the thrusters. Uh, and they're starting to look good. I've used one of the um, 1.8 millimeter uh, S, uh, sorry, LEDs for these. Uh, if I can just get one of these out the bag and show you, that's what they look like, uh, and they do actually fit in those little gaps quite nicely, which is fantastic. I don't need to do any more modifications to it to try and get the light source in, which is great. I've got those hooked up to a 5.7K resistor. Uh, I believe that that gives me the best light for those because I didn't want them too bright and I didn't want them too dim. After all, they're only meant to be thrusters, so they're not really meant to power up any. So if we just uh, take a quick look, I'll just turn the light off on this part here so it uh, doesn't wash it out too much. But as you can see, we've got a nice sort of steady uh, glow coming through from that which is good and then we've also got the one on the other side as well which is just there so that's great and that's just about right for me I think uh, so we've got those done so they're looking good and we've also started mucking about with the little impulse engines as well and I've used um, a three millimeter uh, LED on those and again, I've hooked those up to uh, a 5.7K resistor as well. Obviously, we need to do a little bit of light blocking in these. Um, and I do need to sort of finalise the exact position of the, uh, the LED on the inside. But that's kind of giving you a good idea of the, uh, the type of glow that we're going to get off of that, which is good. Um... Now, one of the other things I really need to do before I start gluing things down is I do need to find out exactly where the lights go on here because this section here is just actually glued onto the hull. Uh, there's no holes through this particular part. So what I need to do is, if we do have uh, lighting in this particular section here, I'm just going to need to hog out a little bit of plastic there to get the, uh, to get the wires through to be able to get the lights in. Uh, I've also, uh, on these parts as well, I'm not sure whether you're going to see it there, yeah, I've drilled a uh, 
uh, sorry, no, a 0.5 mil hole uh, for the floodlights, and I'm going to use fiber optics for those. Uh, so that should be okay, hopefully. But that's about where we are at the moment. As soon as we've got some more progress uh, made on this, I will come back to you. Well, that's it. I finished the build now. Uh, no, I'm only kidding. Um, I had to put the ship together really to try and uh, find uh, the light sources actually for down the side uh, and sort of like have it angled uh, next to the picture really to, to see where the light sources come from. And I do believe, um, I think I've found them, and I do believe we've got one of the light sources that is just there. And then I believe there's also another two that are on this little section here. Um, that being the case, because they're such small areas, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I think what I'm going to have to do is do the same as I've done here uh, with 0.5 mil. Uh, for the floodlights and basically use 0.5 mil on those points of light there as well and just run the fiber optic through to another light source inside that way I'll be able to get all six uh, hooked up to just one LED um, just, and I'll just put the uh, the heat shrink tube over the top of the, uh, the LED and the uh, fiber optics then that way it's kind of instantly light blocked at the same time as well, so I don't really need to, to worry about anything like that. Um, I've already gone in and light blocked the inside of the uh, the wings, and that's successfully done. It was just that little area that needed to be done. But yeah, you can see, um, well, that's my hand. You can see the size of the kit. It's not that big at all. Um, but it's a fun, quick little kit. When you get it together like that, it does actually look quite good. Um, by the time that's actually fully painted up, um, we got a little bit of weathering on there as well. Um, that should look all right. Uh, so I'm quite happy with that. So as soon as I've got some more work done to this, I will come back to you. Uh, to be fair, so I've, I've got a lot further than I thought I would. Uh, at the moment, I've got uh, a torpedo on a stick. Um, I've actually got the whole model put together. I've got all the lighting inside, and as you can see by all the little dangly bits, we've got... Um, some uh, fiber optics uh, all over the place. So I need to trim those down really before I start doing anything else to this kit. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I got a bit carried away. We've got uh, two light sources in the back for the uh, engines there. Um, we've also got these two fiber optics going through that are connected to one bulb. Uh, that's for the ion discharge thingamajigs. jigs. And then we've also got uh, another one on that side as well and we've also got the three down here as well for the uh, floodlights so it's uh, it's getting on quite well actually we've made some pretty good progress on this I had a bit of a problem uh, putting this thing together actually to be quite honest it um, didn't really want to go together too well the reason for that is because there's no um, pins for it at all there's only one at the front and then one at the back but the rest of it there's no pins or anything on it at all so you kind of have to sort of glue one side on get that to the point where it's sticking quite nicely and then get the other side on um, as a result there's a lot of to and fro in on this kit as to uh, you know what you're doing and, and how you can get it all glued together um, as a result there is a, a few seams on this that need to be taken care of and some of the surfaces aren't exactly level so they will need to be sanded down as well uh, but apart from that it's not looking too bad to be to be fair um, we've got uh, as I say the two light sources for the engines there uh, we've got one light source for the um, orange ion discharge things one light source for the floodlights and then we've also got uh, a bulb on each side there which uh, light up the little um, Ujima flips, the uh, the thrusters. Still need to get the little wings on there but, but before I do that I'm just going to get the, uh, the fibre optics trimmed down and then um, so it's a bit more manageable and then I just sand down all the surfaces uh, uh, and whatnot and get those uh, looking reasonably good. Um, it's going to take a little bit of work to do I think to be fair. 
so I will come back to you as soon as I got some of this finished. Okay, well, disastrous truck, uh, almost, well, almost disaster, I'm not going to sort of, you know, make this any bigger than it actually is, because it's not like a huge, massive disaster of biblical proportions or anything, it was just a small oops, um, but a boo-boo nonetheless. Basically what happened, uh, when um, I was cutting the fibre optics off, uh, the ones on the side here, are long enough in fact if I was to put this small end cap that goes in you can actually see um, that there's still quite a little amount of fibrotic left which is great um, I noticed that the one that was on this side had snapped off um, so that's why I decided to sort of cut them all down to size or to you know make them smaller so they're not quite as fragile as they were the only problem is, when I cut these two down, um, I cut them off a bit too short. Uh, I only left about half an inch sticking out thinking that would be enough, totally forgetting that the uh, fibre optic actually needed to run through this hole in the end of this and also go through the end of that cap there. So, you know, they're kind of puts about another quarter of an inch on the top of that as well. So we was well out um, on the size of the fibre optic that we needed. Now luckily enough, as uh, luck would have it, uh, I cut a hole on both sides knowing that when these little caps are in place, you're not going to see those holes. Um, so all I did was I just ran some extra wires down through the stand which I connect to all of these wires and I shall just get uh, a couple of these little orange uh, three millimeter LEDs and basically place them in there up against that hole or close to the hole so we can um, just run a tiny bit of fiber optic through this uh, and stick it on there and I put a I think it was a 5.7k resistor on the back end of that uh, and then these wires can then just be nicely tucked back up into the inside of the the kit again so yeah whilst it was a a boo-boo it wasn't a very big boo-boo so I'm quite 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 happy um, with that so uh, one of the things that I have done so far whilst I've been uh, mucking about with this is I've got the uh, the seams uh, sanded down uh, on all four sides there and also sort of uh, down around the sides there and up those wings. I've just glued these wings on so I just need to wait for those to dry properly. Once they've dried properly I'll then be able to um, sand those down. Um, and then once that's done, I just need to go around really then and just start filling in the seams. And I just lay uh, a quick layer of primer down around the seam areas uh, just to make sure uh, that there's no more gaps there. Uh, the biggest issue I've got at the moment really on this is that seam just there. I can't seem to get rid of it and that one there as well actually. So I think I might need to try and build that up with a little bit of putty but we'll soon see um, but that's where we are at the moment I think it's always good to show the odd uh, you know the, the, the boo-boos that you make like that one and how you can rec recover from them uh, if you just sort of step back and and uh, be calm and um, just work through the situation so yeah that that's not going to present a problem uh, it just means that I've got two more bulbs in there uh, than I originally planned uh, but hey ho these things uh, these things happen uh, so as soon as I've got some more progress done to this, I will come back to you.